Hello everybody. Welcome to the latest Worlds of ZZT live stream. Today's game is going to be Escape from West Manson, which I'll probably say West Mansion a lot. Because this game takes place in West Manson Mansion, which is a bit of a tongue twister. This one is pretty much a blind pick. I haven't actually heard of this game specifically before, but I specifically looked if there were any John Shipley worlds we have yet to play, because they're all pretty fantastic. Shipley is the person who, as you can actually see listed at the bottom here, is responsible for Caves of Fury, Final Quest of Fury, The Cliff. I mean, those are like games I'm familiar with, and they're all there on that title screen, which is very convenient. So expect an adventure with some interesting writing and just some fun dialogue. I believe one of his games was the one where you infiltrate like a CD bar and if you ask for a coke, like the gangsters get mad at you and are like, get him boys, he's a wimp. So I'm expecting something fun here. And if I am misremembering names, that's okay. I remember the cliff pretty distinctly at least. And that's a solid one as well. I do like this title screen. I like its little attempts at fading with nothing but regular colors that you can access in ZZT. I'm a big fan of the very curvy looking ends in Manson. Exactly, fun typography. Oh, my. Okay, my stream is working, but my stream preview is incredibly off. I've been having weird internet problems today, so hopefully nothing goes horribly wrong, but I've been getting lots of instances of clicking to play a video or something and it playing like one frame and then stopping on its own, which is kind of what my stream preview is doing now. I can watch the little ZZT player move, and then like three seconds later it moves again. I'm just going to pause that because that's not going to be any use today apparently. So let's see what we're in for here. Here we are. Fun little opening theme. Also, this is version 1.5, which is the only version we have. It is dated 1997, but it is very clear that the original game is from several years earlier. Not sure when. Anyway. Escape from West Manson by John Shipley. Joshua Fury, you, has been locked in the huge West Manson resort along with many others who don't know they are trapped in the same situation as you are. Mean old Mr. Morley, being the murderer of an old lady named Miss Bean, was caught by you, but escaped, locked off his mansion, and sent you into the first floor lobby, never to escape. But there is a way to escape. You must explore the entire mansion, searching for keys and clues to get you out. But beware, vicious attack dogs and mean old Mr. Morley are waiting for you to try to escape. Along your journey, you will come across many characters and items, and you will most likely get stumped at different parts of the game. Enjoy Escape from West Manson. The author can be reached, in 1997 at least, at a Prodigy email address. And there's no longer an hint sheet available. Yeah, the it's like the Fury family, like... I believe you play as the final Quest of Fury guy's grandson in the cliff. Also, yeah, the music is just straight up copied. It's all from Shipley's other games, so it's not like actually stolen in any way. These are all his compositions as far as I'm aware. That was the spookiest statue music I've ever heard. Also, my own volume is cranked way up. So we get quite a few options here for where to go. Let's just go left does not look like the correct choice. Oh, activated. Okay, never mind. Better than Phoebus Project already. 
So we took a boat, got ourselves a leather whip, keep away a dangerous animal. Hmm. Unfortunately, one thing about this guy's games is that you probably do have to touch every single one of these. I love the splotchy grass out here, actually. And the board isn't connected back. We're stuck! <laughs> Off to a good start. I don't recall any of his other games actually having any issues like this. Okay, the boat actually can't take you back. Let's just... Get right back on pace, I guess. Don't go left. Uh, here we go. This gives us a bit more options. Even a doggy door. I lost my doggy. Can you find him and bring him back to me? If you find him, go to his dog door and open it so he can get in. Bed. Dog bowl. Too bad there's no dog to use it. The dog bed. Dog's got his own little room. Okay, general hotel area. Mr. Lee's quarters. The checkerboard club for rich people only. Kitchen, entrance to courtyard, arcade, lounge, bowling alley, general entertainment area. Mr. Morley's office. Hmm, yes. Calling out the local journalists. But we know the truth, I guess. Maybe it's about Mr. Morley. See a picture of yourself in the mirror. Amazing, isn't it? That's good. I like that. And what do you think? Are we going to barge in or will the door just open? Ah, uh uh. You walked into the wrong bathroom. Watch where you're going next time. Game over. I can't, I can't believe that killed us. We died of embarrassment. Yeah, that's another thing. These are uh, <sighs> terrifying bathrooms to think about conceptually. Let's uh, just start with the basement and work our way up, I guess. It's that guy from Kingdom of Kroz. It's Kroz guy. I think this person showed up in one of his other games, too. There's another whip. Everybody's a big fan of Kroz. very abstract rooms. It's very difficult to tell what anything is. Lots of whips. Oh, oh, well, that's a dog. There we go. First quest complete. It's the good dog. Swell. Okay, so now we have a doll. Well, if the other floors are anything like that basement, we're going to make some good progress. Potted trees. And I have to touch every one. There might be gems. From here, we can still get to all the other floors, which is nice. Planters Kilius. This is a nice board. Oh. 
Okay, that's even funnier than I expected. I I was fully expecting that thing to run at me, but I figured it wouldn't do so until I was actually like lined up with the key at the very least. So hit fire rocket. Game over. So do I just open the door and that's not any better, actually. Can I beat the clock? Okay, that's not even a key. Just don't go that way, I guess. Happy Octroller Fest. This is a nice bathroom. Ah, it's Mr. Lee's, of course. Okay, so the key is fake, but I suspect the door is very real. Yeah, so we are going to need to find that key. Perhaps there's going to be something where we disable the rocket and then can get a key. Spa. I don't know what it is with early ZZT games and spas. They're really obsessed with them. City's got one. I think like multiple Super ZZT worlds have them. I want to say, like, Fantasy or one of the other games in ZZT's Revenge. Ninja Turtles is on. Ren and Stimpy is on. Mr. Bean! It's an E, not that Mr. Bean. Was murdered earlier this evening at West Manson Hotel. Police are still trying to find the murderer. They've sent young detective Joshua Fury along. As you know, he's the one who put the evil chief and the saboteur behind bars in his town. Oh, perfect. So this is like a direct sequel to The Cliff. And we are still a child. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. Okay. Maybe that's Mr. Lee. Maybe Mr. Lee's a jerk. I'm going to actually check that other direction. Because the elevators definitely seem like a bit of a hub, and I'll end up forgetting about this, I'm sure, otherwise. Lots of checkered flooring. Lots of big toilets. And little toilets. This game has a, an extremely dense toilet ratio. Alright, we've got Wolfenstein 3D, ZZT, the registered version, and Fire King. Does anybody know what Fire King is? I've never heard of it. Oh, well. That would cut us off. I'd believe it to be another Shipley game, but... Let's try this from scratch. Wolf 3D. Nothing. Okay. Can't argue with that. Oh, well. Okay, so they all cut you off. Well, there are a lot of games on it. That's That can be said of ZZT. Did I get a flag or anything for Fire King? Yes, okay. So for all I know, if you don't pick Fire King, you're just going to be stuck later on. So let's go with Fire King. Rolled up newspaper. Another toilet. The other... Okay, it's all just one toilet. Alright, so it is a legit game. Somebody who can actually click the Wikipedia link, what are we, what are we dealing with? Is it a gauntlet style RPG thing? Ooh, bottle of wine. Don't mind if I do. Alright, do you think we're going to get killed for, like, interrupting two people on a love seat? There's a couch. Two teens making out. I knew it. At least it wasn't fatal. Not even Joshua Fury can, can stop teenage love. Oh, 
Okay. <clears throat> so this is following the format of the cliff quite a lot. That game is just nothing but fetch quests like this, and then eventually it somehow ends up leading to you finding the the saboteur. So so get dog, trade dog for doll, trade doll for toothpick. That we are very excited about. Empty room, okay. Sure, let's give this old man some of our wine. Thanks, Shunny. Tell the cook to hire you, and I'm sure he'll do it. So is this going to be like, we're blessed, we're fucked, and we're toothpicked. I like these outdoor scenes, though. And yeah, expect a lot of backtracking. This game is only like low 20s for the amount of boards total. But I have a feeling it's going to end up taking some time just because of all the walking around we're going to need to do. The Checkerboard Club. This is the one I'm the most curious about. It's I love the name. Checkerboard Center. For those with incomes of half a million dollars or more. Very exclusive. So am I going to have to like fake being a millionaire? This is the Checkerboard Center. Place where the rich people go when they stay at West Manson. You only let certain distinguished people in their center. Well, you don't look very rich or distinguished to me, so you may not enter. Okay. We gotta class up a little. Floor floor was the kitchen and entrance to the courtyard. Okay. I don't feel a sense of urgency for there being, like, a murderer running around here. Okay, there's the cook. Take this bowl of broth to Dr. Lee on the second floor. And after you give it to him, come back here for your reward, okay? Okay. Joshua Fury is on the case. He's got the broth. So now I really hope that the person watching TV is Mr. Lee. Thanks for the broth. Get out of here. No tip. There we go. 10 gems for the arcade. Can't wait to get to the arcade. And we still got a courtyard here. Okay, some conveyors. Some nice music. Or five. Okay, this one's the arcade and everything. Yep, that's an arcade. I keep touching these signs like they're going to be different. It is a game of some sort. Man, the, I think it was the cliff had an arcade, and in that arcade, every game got named. So I'm a little bit disappointed. Alright, that's obviously the important one. Can't wait to play the ZZT guessing game. Just want to make sure... All right. Fifth floor bowling alley is the best place for one. And gems. All our money. Who was the creator of ZZT? None of the above, because they spelled Sweeney wrong. Quite a selection here, though. <laughs> 
You win a ticket. All right, we have to. George Bush. All right, no fun commentary. That's all the trivia we're getting, apparently. Got a ticket. It's a big TV. They're enraptured. They're on the edge of their seats. They're enraptured by Family Matters. Honestly, I was hoping it would be trivia that was a little more timely. What will Urkel do this time? Uh... Sure, let's just get ourselves killed. Okay. I want to use this ticket. Okay, the only thing you can buy with this is a small racing car. I guess that'll go to the kid playing with cards in the courtyard. Cars, not cards. There's definitely some keys we need. Oh, the jukebox. Tunes from others. Fast downscale, sure, why not? Mysterious piece of paper. Can I read the paper? There we go. A purple arcade machine has a secret to it that may be useful. Hmm. I mean, that might just tell us that you can actually play that one for all we know. How about the intro to the cliff? Don't remember the cliff having music like that. Oh, good. Key. There we go. Road Blasters and Arkanoid. And the one with the key. That'll get us in here to the Forbidden Arcade Machine. That turns into a key. That's game design. All right, here's the bowling alley, I guess. Can't believe he's not using the upside down exclamation point for bowling pins, though. This is a bowling alley. Since you're new here, take alley number eight for free, just to try it out. I'm really invested in the weird design of this bowling alley in which there's lanes like this. Nice. Joshua Fury is a natural bowler. So now I have a pass, but I don't know what it's for. Is it to the, the checkerboard club? Yeah, we got a car. Toothpick. E pass. Courtyard was floor four. The old fourth floor courtyard. Why is this child so ominous? Like, it was the blue key for the place in uh, the door in Mr. Lee's room. It also apparently opens up the courtyard. 
for another dog. Who I have a feeling we're gonna need the the whip for, unfortunately. Just from the way that it is very much trying to hunt me down. Swimming pool. Okay, nothing to do there. Well, let's find out if this is one of those murder dogs. Yes, oof, wow. Dog takes a chomp and takes a big chunk out of your side. You die from all the bleeding. You don't have the keys anyway. It's the Hugo's House of Horrors dog, maybe. Okay, so what do we have? We have a pass we got? Oh yeah, the blue key. So Mr. Lee's room is where we're headed next. These are some slow doors. And who are you? Here's the key to the outer gates that go into the yard. There's a lot of just keys for the sake of more keys. You can't get out that way, but it can help you find some good items. Okay. False key must be a false key. So, I think we need the whip. Or can we outrun the dog? Ah, uh, the courtyard has the green and cyan keys doors. You know, it's it's difficult to see. I thought they were like two of the same color at first myself. Okay, so we get to Sweeney's Gambit, this dog, I guess. Now there's some. Okay. All right, all right. I think we need the whip. I don't think I'm supposed to do this. I'm, I'm going to just actually look. Okay, that, that, there you go. They're not helpful board names. The yard. If whip, yes, okay. We can optionally not whip the dog. Dog is scared of you after seeing your whip. Garsh. I'm gonna continue the Hugo's House of Horror style, I suppose, and escape from the mummy. go. And we can be nice to the dog, even if the dog won't be nice to us. The cave, this cave, blocked off by order of the West Manson Police Department. Okay. Well, there's our last door. This is a blue key tree. And you are... I don't want to whip the dog, and it seems like he can get away with it. That's the speed run, speed run strat. Plus, yeah, the bug. I don't want to deal with that. That's kind of weird, though, because this is an updated version of the game, and that's kind of 
Not difficult to miss. Oh, thank goodness we had Fire King. That's a really nice game, but my copy of it was destroyed. Hmm. Let's make a deal. You give me Fire King, and I'll let you through. I guess we accepted the deal. So are we making any progress here? Paper Airplane, okay. Yeah, I was a little worried that it was going to kill me, but apparently it's just a just an airplane. Well, I hope we never have to go this way again. Oop. Mm. Well, there's the guy. So what's this door? The Golden Door. His name? Mr. Morley. So the only thing we haven't really done was that shed. Right. Ah, of course. You stick the toothpick in a small hole and it activates the automatic door release button. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. Okay, so that's not a bug, that's just a horrible design feature. Now we have the whip and would be able to get past the dog normally. But what are we missing at this point? The dog is back with us down here. Um, we have our airplane. Oh, the Millionaire Club, that's right. Third floor? Yeah. Will our ticket work or our paper airplane? Oh, no, it's our free bowling pass. This guy leads quite a life. This is the life of the millionaires. Checkerboard Center does not exist. Ha, ah, I knew it. There really is no checkerboard center, is there? It's all a bunch of crap. Now I gotta get Richard Morley. Damn. Enter Bruno's room only if you are prepared for a fight. Like if you have a pointy object or something. This is gonna be the paper airplane, isn't it? Throw your paper airplane at Bruno before he can make a move. Oh boy, I am excited to close this window. Oh, wow. I give up, I give up. Take this golden key. It will let you into Richard Morley's room on floor six. Ah. Wow. This game has some impressive deaths. Actually, hang on. On the airplane. I have to know. If we don't have the paper airplane. Well, it's not even coded right. Bruno sees you across the room before you can move. He sends a bullet to your head. You die instantly. 
I'm a child, by the way, in this game. And then we still have a paper airplane, just magically. Wonderful. Okay, so that's our golden key. And I guess that's it. So, Joshua, you have made it into my office. So you solved this whole thing, huh? It wasn't hard. But, Luger, I knew you were the murderer as soon as you locked us all in your stupid hotel. <laughs> You've got a lot of spirit, kid. You found your way through all my traps and doors. And you have finally come here. What is butt Luger? Yes, and now I will leave your mansion and tell the authorities that you are Miss Bean's murderer. How will you get out? You need a white key for that, and as you know, there is no white key in all my mansion. Except, of course, in my pocket. I'm sorry you will not have the chance to get out, for I will kill you now. Notice that we suddenly have ten bullets. Ah! Richard Morley is stunned. You better get the key and get out quick. Okay, he does just wake up. And become invincible. What a game. It's fun. Like I love this guy's stuff. It's it's all like this too. Nothing nothing about this surprised me in that sense. Except maybe the game over for the wrong toilet. That was not expected. A surprising amount. I think there's like three games in the like of Fury series, and then there's the Cliff. There's Secret Agents EZT. Then there's this. He's got a good variety. Let me just toss in a link real quick. John Shipley. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, six games total. At this point, I'll have played like more than half. What's your problem, son? Richard. Richard Morley. He's inside. He murdered Miss Bean. Be that Joshua Fury, kid. Yeah. Alright then. We'll take care of this. Richard Morley was captured and brought to justice. The unknowing captives at West Manson Hotel soon learned of your great heroic deed and became grateful to you. Joshua Fury has now solved his second case. Congratulations! If you like to escape from West Manson, also available is the first game in the series, The Cliff, which is bigger than Escape. Hope you enjoyed Escape from West Manson. Go on the Black Path, not the Arrow. Alright. He ends. That's a long development cycle. Oh man, original story, The Westminster Murder, idea by Michael Waterman, written by J. Shipley II and N.A. Waterman for English class, 10th grade English, 1991. It would be great if that clarification was added, but we don't have an earlier copy of this, unfortunately. Yeah, it was a cruddy song. It was a decent enough cruddy song, but I couldn't think of anything else at 2 in the morning. The end! I would love to read the book. It's a beautiful novel. 
<laughs> and then Detective Fury got the broth. What a wonderful little game. So that was Escape from Westmanson, version 1.5. This is a, it's a John Shipley game. It's exactly what you should expect from this guy. Uh, if you did have fun watching this though, definitely try out the cliff for yourself. It's more of the same. It's spread out a bit more in that you're exploring a town rather than a mansion. So there's even more walking, but it also features lots of fun moments like getting into a baseball game and having a man give you a gun. I remember that part pretty distinctly. All this guy's games are pretty fun though. And they're just very enjoyable, cute little adventures. So that will do it for now. Thank you all for watching. Uh, we'll be back again on Friday. Where we'll be finishing up the RPG War Torn, which has also been pretty great to return to after all these years. And other than that, that's about it. We got a. Uh, Octoberfest signups are open. If you want to make a. Oh, no, this is, this is last year's URL. Octoberfest 2021. If you all want to participate in an interesting ZZT competition for the month of October, that's something to check out, which will also produce some works of art, I'm sure. Other than that, that'll pretty much do it. We'll be back again next Sunday as well with who knows what. So thanks for watching. Have a good evening.